Hey guys, Elliot here from the Jump Jump Die podcast and YouTube gaming channel. Today, I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay. Today I had some problems on Reddit, and uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this because I feel like the internet's really negative. Like, really negative. And um, not in, like, I'm not the sort of person to go out and be like, oh, be positive, man, because I'm known to whinge. I'm known to bitch, and I'm known to make dirty jokes, and I do all these things. And, you know, dirty jokes are fun from time to time. And if you listen to the podcast, you'll know that I make a lot of them. But the, there is a line, right? And um, I think that line is being crossed a lot on Reddit. And things like 4chan and stuff. I mean, we all know. I used to go on 4chan myself. And we all know that there's some funny stuff on there. But there's also some really disturbing stuff on Reddit. And um, I'm not sure if it's really a joke or not. I mean, I'm sure it starts out as a joke. But somewhere along the line, it's going to become blurry. And... Some of these things are, like, there was a there was a thread on Reddit basically asking for two subreddits to be shut down. One was called Beating Women, and the other one was called Raping Women. And um, on the face of it, you, that's obviously a bad thing, right? <laughs> you wouldn't really want those things there. And uh, this, this thread was met with many, many people saying, oh, it's freedom of speech, these people can say what they want, you know, you're stifling freedom of speech... And, you know, for, for Americans, that's a big deal, right? In Australia, we don't really have freedom of speech. Like, we do, but it's not written into our law so much. So, but anything that's sort of... That was a voice crack. Whoa. Anything that increases hate speech, anything that increases violence towards a minority is not part of freedom of speech. You can't promote violence and say that we should be beating women. And I know that people will say, hey, they're not actually, you know, beating women. They're just talking about it. Yeah, well, how long does it take for someone who has the penchant or perhaps the will, the want to beat women, to rape women, to come on this uh, to this forum and realise that, hey, there's other people out there who, who feel like me, that feel this is alright. There's actually been studies recently that have pointed out that beating, that rapists actually think that it's okay to rape other people. They actually think it's okay. This is a big study done. Um, I'll, have to, I'll try and find it and link to it in the description. But they actually think it's fine. As whereas non-rapists think that it's wrong. Actual rapists believe that other men want to rape people and other men do rape people. That's what they actually believe. So this sort of culture that we're building for ourselves on the internet where we, we think it's okay to, as soon as a, wi a, a woman or a girl or whatever shows their face on a forum, say, tits or get the fuck out, or something like that, or denigrate a chick. Like, it, for example, there was, there was a girl on Reddit recently on, uh, on Our Atheism who spoke about... Um, actually, she posted a picture of a book that she got, a really cool book from her really religious mother, which is unusual. She, she got um, Carl Sagan's A Demon Haunted World, Science as a Candle in the Dark, which is a fantastic book and I recommend to anyone. But she was 15 years old and there was about 900 comments related to rape and raping this 9 this 15 year old girl on Reddit in our atheism which is not is not a comment on atheists. Let me say that right now. I am an atheist and obviously that's wrong. It's a bad thing to do. But it is a comment on Reddit and you know people on the internet who say these sort of things and think it's okay. So back to, you know, raping women and, and, and beating women on, on Reddit. I, I actually, you know, had a bit of a go at some of these people on Reddit because I'm kind of sick and tired of this sort of attitude on the internet where trolling has sort of given way to just this, like, amoral behavior or just, yeah, it's just, it's terrible. And, you know, I, I don't believe in a Christian morality or anything like that. I believe that in society we create our own morals you know, it's what is best for the culture, what is best for all of us. You know, I don't want to encroach on anyone else's rights. I don't want to hurt other people because I don't like to be hurt myself. I want to be a good person because, you know, I, I want to be a good person because I want to be a good person. I just do. I don't know why. I don't attribute it to God. I don't attribute it to Jesus. Anything like that. So these people who come and, and start trolling, yeah, I get trolling. I, I've trolled from time to time. It's fun. You can, like, have a laugh. But then there's people who take it too damn far. And these are those people... I went on one of these actual threads, the subreddits, for about... <laughs> it lasted about five seconds before I left. Because I wanted to actually see what was going on on there. I went to Beating Women, and I clicked on it, and the first image was truly disturbing. It was a woman with a head beaten in on the ground, and I don't want to go any further. It was 
at, like I felt sick and horrible in my stomach. And I, I guess this is because I prefer dignity and compassion for, for people. <laughs> I don't want other people to get hurt. I think it's bad, especially, you know, people who can't protect themselves necessarily. And this was pretty sad to see this thing out of con. I mean, even out of context, this image was, it was disturbing. So, so this sort of confirmed what I thought about the thread. Regardless, it, you know, it was one of those sort of meme things. Like, oh, it's got a picture and then it had some text. I can't even remember the text because I was so just upset about this image. And let me, let me just clarify something. I'm not offended. Like, it's very hard to offend me. I'm a white male. <laughs> it's really difficult to offend me. Like, I, I love um, full-on comedy. I love all that sort of stuff. I can have a laugh, you know, at other people's expense, at my own expense. I can do all these things. But this was like taking it to another level where it's not okay anymore. Um, and and the, the fact that there's a big community around beating women, raping women, and this isn't just them talking about it and saying, oh, this is funny, look at this picture, it, and, which is horrible in itself. There was actual things like, here's some pressure points of how to beat women better. It's like, I, I realize they think they're joking, but as I said earlier, what if there is someone who actually thinks that this is okay, or they, they're wondering about this, or they have some sort of psychological tendency towards rape, and they go to these chat rooms, this um, forum on Reddit, and go, hey, what? There's another community of people. I was right all along. It is okay to do this. You know, I've got people here who will think it's funny. So, you know, it's, this is thought crime, so I'm not necessarily saying people will actually do that, or this is actually going to happen, but why do we allow this? People scream free speech, freedom of speech. Okay, freedom of speech, whatever. But there's a difference between giving people freedom of speech to talk about atheism or religion or, you know, things like that. And then there's the other thing of, like, violence towards people. It's not okay as a society to promote and accept violence against anyone. Unless it's within war or something like that as a way to defend yourself. You shouldn't be promoting violence against any minority. It's unfair. That, and it's it's unfair, and it's also, like, hor horrible injustice, which I'll, I'll read you a quote from Christopher Hitchens after I've talked about this. But yeah, it's 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 truly disturbing, and um, I probably haven't put it as eloquently as I could, but it, it, it just really rubbed me the wrong way, and the ho all, all of today I've been a bit depressed about it. Because I was, I was commenting on this Reddit thread, and, and I was saying things like, you know, it's, it's not okay, it's not part of freedom of speech to oppress and repress any minority and make them not feel welcome in a public forum. <clears throat> okay, I get the fact that the, the subreddit was called beating women, so therefore women aren't generally allowed in there, <laughs> but that, that, that doesn't matter. It's the culture of Reddit putting up these things, allowing these things to be there, and it's already hard enough for, for females, as it is, to go onto Reddit and be like, I'm a chick, you know, and I, I realize some people are getting pissed off that I called them chicks, but I don't really care. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually hard for, for women to go on there and say, hey, I'm a, I'm a female, because they get all these things of, like, you know, show, shows your tits and, like, fucking all this rape stuff, which is just, is wrong in itself. You shouldn't be doing that to another human being, but it just sort of increases that culture where people feel like, oh, I can't really speak out and say anything. So if you see things like this, injustices like this, on Reddit or anywhere, even on YouTube, because I know there's a lot of bigoted comments on YouTube, Stand up for it, because if you sit there and don't say a thing, it's as, ba as bad as if you were condoning it. It's, it's the wrong thing to do. Stick up for what is right. Stick up for the little guy and help them. It's unfair. That's what I wanted to say. I'm going to try and shorten this video down. It's not really about the video. I just wanted to talk to you about that. So, if you, as I said, if you see any of this sort of stuff going on, speak out. It's not good to stay quiet about things you don't agree with. Especially things like this. Obviously, there's some things that are clear-cut, you know, opinion, blah, blah, blah. This is not opinion. This is subjective, yes, but it's not opinion. Objectively, no one means anything in the scheme of things. But we put meaning on... To other things because we're humans we've created our own meanings through society through our own thought processes through our families what's important to us that's the meaning to us that's what our meaning of life is and for people to 
you know, promote the violence, violence against uh, anyone, whether it be black people, Asian people, women, men, whatever, is not right. It's not good. And, and beating kids. And there was, uh, there was other threads on, on Reddit, like jailbait, which is like posting pictures of non-naked girls, generally, I think, you know, and basically guys share it, which is fucking creepy in itself. But these things exist on Reddit. If you see them, talk about them somewhere. It doesn't have to be on Reddit. Just talk about them. Make your case. Because the more we talk about this, the more it becomes public knowledge and the more it becomes, you know, something that is talked about and the more we just build on the shoulders of giants, like like some people have said. I don't know who said that. But that's what we should be doing. Trying to stick up for the little guy. Defending injustice, etc. Anyway, I want to read this quote from Christopher Hitchens before I sign off. Um, and I'm sorry if this is a bit of a rambling mess, but I wanted to sort of give you my opinions on it because it's been pissing me off all day. And I'm normally a pretty fun dude, but this, I feel like, needed to be said. All right. This is Christopher Hitchens, who just recently died, by the way, and he was a genius and an atheist and an outspoken free thinker, and he was awesome. I was going to meet him next year, and unfortunately, I haven't... He died, so I don't get to meet him, but that's fine. Okay. Beware the irrational, however seductive. Shun the transcendent and all who invite you to subordinate or annihilate yourself. Distrust compassion. Prefer dignity for, for yourself and others. Don't be afraid to be thought arrogant or selfish. Picture all experts as if they were mammals. Never be a spectator of unfairness or stupidity. Seek out argument and disputation for their own sake. The grave will supply plenty of time for silence. Suspect your own motives and all excuses. Do not live for others any more than you would expect others to live for you. Anyway, guys, I hope that helps you think about this. And uh, next time you see people doing this sort of shit on YouTube, in the COG community... Uh, on Reddit, wherever you are, stand up for it and fucking stop it. Alright, cheers guys. Bye.